few weeks back, I actually got the opportunity to watch the great Leia Salonga play Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd. And that got me to thinking about pies. Pie charts and how to use them. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said, it's intro kanina, <laughs> napanood namin si uh, Leia Salonga, the Leia Salonga, sa production of Sweeney Todd. And if you don't know kung ano story na Sweeney Todd, there are a lot of meat pies involved. I won't spoil the entire thing for you, but it was a great production and naisip ko talaga yung pie charts dahil nga nire-revamp natin yung series natin on data and uh, na analyzing charts and graphs and stuff like that. So I figured we should talk about this more in depth. So in this video, I'm going to show you a pie chart and the kinds of questions that you can expect sa mga uh, exams na merong concerning ng data tables and uh, analyzing or analysis ng data. And uh, I-rank ko yung mga questions na ito from yung easy to average to difficult. I-discuss ko ang bawat isa and hopefully by the end of this, you will feel ready to face whatever your exam is. At uh, pag nakakita kayo na yung pie chart, excited ka na kasi bonus na yan sa'yo. And in order for me to explain this better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating lecture on data analysis, specifically sa pie chart. And uh, if you haven't seen yung aking lecture on bar graphs, it's kind of like that. I'm going to give you a couple of, well, a bunch of questions na iba-iba yung difficulty. Starting with the easy, and then your average, and then you adding hard questions. So I'm trying to cover as many types ng questions that you can expect, and I'll discuss then how I solve them sa exam. Okay? So, ito yung itsura nung tinatawag natin pie chart. Basically, meron kang bilog na malaki. Tapos, yung entire pie or entire na bilog na yan, meron siyang kinakorespond, okay? Which is 100%. Basically, yan ang lahat. Total niya is 100%. All of it would be the circle. Now, ano yung mga parts? Parts na yan are the share. Share nung isang bagay, isang category, or anything like that, doon sa 100% na yun. So, for example, itong title nitong ating chart, which is very important, sabi dito, Team Like a Channel View. So, this is just a mock-up, parang sample sa inyo. Pag sinabing Team Like a Channel Views, ibig sabihin lahat yan would be yung total na number ng views ng channel for that given period, no? Ngayon, bawat isang part, na dito tayo sa legend natin na table, Iba-iba sila na kulay, minsan iba-iba ng markings or shades. Nakalagay dyan kung ano yung mga countries. So, for example, itong baby blue natin, Philippines, so ito yung 70%. Ibig sabihin, 70% ng kabuuan ng lahat ng nanonood sa Team Laika na channel, hindi nalalayo, to, hindi nalalayo to sa realidad, ay galing sa Philippines. Itong 5.3% naman ay sa United States, 3.8% sa Saudi Arabia, 3.1% sa UAE, 26 sa Canada, and yung 152 is yung others. Pag sinabing others, ibig sabihin every other country out there na may views from that country. Okay? So, it's kind of like, ganyan talaga yung sitwasyon sa, sa Team Likas Channel pag off-season ng review. Ibig sabihin, walang papalating na mga exam. So, medyo dun ko kinuha itong statistics na ito. Okay? Now, out of this chart right here, may mga posibleng questions na lumabas. Okay? Ang pinaka-common na question would be something like this. Sabi, sa easy round natin, most of Team Laika's views come from which country? So, sabi, most or mas marami, okay, uh, karamihan sa views daw ng Team Laika come from which country? Now, ang pinaka-daling way for you to see that is through the chart, ano yung may pinaka-malaking slice? Okay? So, even if you don't look at the values, you would see right away, higit sa kalahati pa nga, 70% is from the Philippines. So, the answer here would be yung Philippines. Then, yung country with the most views. Okay? Minsan, tinatanong yung least. Minsan, tinatawag yung, o tinatanong yung, ano, yung pinaka-konte. Minsan, pinapa, tinatanong yung pinaka-marami. Minsan, tinatanong yung second least or uh, second most. All of those things, ganito yung, titignan nyo lang, titignan nyo yung number niya, ano yung ranking niya. At dahil most ang hinahanap, 70 ang pinakamarami, Philippines ang 
sagot. So, basically, pinagbabangga-bangga mo lang yung mga data. Ito yung type ng easy question. Now, things change kapag ganito na. Average. So, sabi sa tanong, which pair has the most viewers combined? Okay? So, dahil combined yan, ibig sabihin, pagsasamahin mo, do, yung pair ng mga countries na ito. So, it will require you a little bit of ano ba, math na rin. So, simulan natin sa Canada and USA. Ang Canada is yung purple natin, which is 2.6. Tapos, idadagdag natin, kasi combined is addition, no? 2.6, idadagdag natin yung sa USA, which is yung color red, 5.3. Okay? Yan yung first one. So, this will be 7.9. Okay? Now, you don't need to write this down. The more that you do this, the faster you'll get, no? Pag minsan, patingin-tingin ka na lang sa exam. Pero kung nagsisimula pa lang kayo, it'll do you well to write it. Next, yung Saudi Arabia and UAE natin. Saudi Arabia is yellow. That is 3.8. Tapos, itadagdag natin yung UAE. UAE is green. That is 3.1. Again, i-add lang natin 6.8. 9, so, hindi na siya pwede. Talo na siya kasi 7.9 yung isa. So, hindi na ito pwedeng sagot. That's how I cancel answers sa exam. Next, we have yung UAE and USA. Ang UAE natin is 3.1. Ang USA is 5.3. So, i-add natin sila. This will be 8.4. So, tanggal na rin yung letter A. Hindi na siya pwede. Ang candidate na natin is letter C. Letter D na lang, just to make sure. Letter D, we have USA, which is, again, 5.3. And yung ating Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is 3.8. So, pag i-add na naman natin siya. So, we have 9.1. Okay, now the way that I do this is, I first combine yung buong number. So, 5 plus D is 8, and then yung 3.3 plus uh, 0 0.8, that is 1.1. Tapos, i-add ko lang siya doon. So, 9.1 ang sagot. So, if you notice, yung 9.1 ay mas malaki siya kaysa sa 8.4. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito ang tamang sagot. Ang tamang sagot natin is letter D. USA and Saudi Arabia. Sila yung may pinakamarami na viewers combined. Okay? So, again, may onti ng operations required. It will require you to add a few things. Yan yung mga klase ng mga average or moderate level na difficulty na questions. Okay? Let's try another uh, type, no? Sabi to, if Team Laika had 400,000 views in this period, how many views came from the Philippines? Okay. Ito, again, you will have to do a little bit of math. Sabi dito sa Tagalog, uh, kung 400,000 daw ang total na views, ilan ang views na galing sa Pilipinas? So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Ibig sabihin yan, yung buong pie right here, ang total ng buong pie na yan is 400,000. Okay, 400k yan. Pero ang kinukuha lang natin ngayon would be this part right here, yung 70%. So, ang gagawin natin dito is, basically, tanong, what is 70% of 400,000? Okay? Now, again, you can do it na ganyan, i-multiply natin siya. So, 0 0.7 times 400 thousand you can do it like that as i multiply mo lang siya or what i do sa percentage questions and if you haven't seen my video on my shortcut lalo na kung walang calculator na ginagamit sa exam panoorin na lang sa taas i-link ko na lang doon sa upper right corner doon sa i button there no pero ang ginagawa ko kasi diyan kung ako magko-compute lalo na walang calculator yung exam iniisip ko lang muna ano ang 70% ng 100,000 muna now ang 100,000 Okay, ang 70% niyan, very easy naman. It's 70,000. Kasi, ang 70% ng 100 ay 70. So, dadagdagan ko lang nung tatlong zero. At dahil yung 100,000 ay apat. Okay, apat niyan ang 400,000. Ita times 4 ko lang din ito. This is something I can do mentally. So, 70,000 times 4, that would give me... 28, 7, 14, 21, 28, tapos 0, and 3 more zeros right there. So, my answer is 280,000. The answer is letter A. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa hard question natin. Sabi dito, Team Laika had 400,000 views in this period, and 60% of the views from the USA were from females. How many views were from males in the USA? Okay? So, eto may step further siya kasi... Hindi na lang yung 
share ng USA ang hinahanap. Ang hinahanap is how many were from males in the USA. Na kung makikita ninyo, meron kang information dito which is yung 400,000 total views and then 60% yung sa female. So, kung, ang tanong na here would be, ilan muna yung share ng USA? Now, ang share ng USA would be 5.3%. So, 5.3% muna of 400,000. Okay? Now, ilan muna yung 5.3% ng 100,000? That would be 5,300. Okay? Ito yung 5.3% ng, ng 100,000. Ita times 4 ko lang din siya. Parang ginawa ko kanina. This is my my style, no? But again, you can do this in multiply nyo na lang. Pwede nyo rin gawin yun. Sa akin lang, basta dalito mentally. So, apat na, ang ginagawa ko dito, apat na 5,000, that would be 20,000. Tapos, apat din na 300, that would be 1,200. So, my answer would be 21,200. Yung total ng, hindi pa to tapos, ha? Ito ay number ng taong nanonood sa USA. Pero hindi pa tayo matatapos dyan kasi ang hinahanap, ilan nyo daw yung lalaki. Now, you can do two things. Number one, pwede nyo kunin yung 60% nito at ibawas ninyo sa 21,200. Okay, ano ibig sabihin ko doon? Again, what you're going to do here would be, ito yung option number one, 21,200, tapos times 0 0.6, tapos kung ano man yung sagot mo dito, minus mo dyan. Okay, so 21,200 minus whatever that is. Okay, you can do it like that. Or, ang ginagawa ko na lang kasi, kung 0.6 or 60% yung babae, ang lalaki niyan would be yung 100% minus 60%. Kasi, the rest will be 40%, yan yung lalaki. So, yung hinahanap mo ngayon would be 40% ng 21,200. I just prefer this kasi mas onti na yung isosolve ko. Imbis na i-multiply ko kasi ma-minus ko pa, idiretso ko na lang ng multiply sa 40%. Now, again, ang gagawin ko na lang is I will multiply this by 40%. Now, paano ko yun makukuha? 10% muna. Ang 10%, igagalaw ko lang yung decimal place na isang beses. That is 2,120. Basically, ito ay mumultiply ko lang sa apat. So, apat nito. Okay? That would give me 8,000 right away. Tapos, plus, apat na 120. So, 400 plus apat na 20, 480. So, my answer now would be letter C. 8,480. Okay? But again, kung gusto nyo i-multiply like this, okay lang din. Pareho naman yung lalabas na sagot. This is just my way of doing it kasi it's faster, lalo na if you, you cannot use a calculator sa inyong exam. Okay? Now, ito na yung last question natin dito sa video na ito. Sabi, if this data held up for 2018, ibig sabihin ganito pa rin ang ratio sa buong 2018, and the channel received 330,000 views from US, Canada, and UAE that year, what is the total number of views? Okay, so ang sinasabi dito is, yung views daw for 2018 ng US, ang US is 5.3, Canada, Canada natin is 2.6, and yung UAE, ang UAE natin is 3.1. So pag pinagsama-sama mo daw ito, ang total na views niya ay 330,000 views. Okay, ang hinahanap is the total number of views. Ibig sabihin, yung buong 100%. Now, how do I get that? Ang pwede nyo, ang ma, ang pwede nyo maisip dito would be, ano muna ang percentage ng 330,000? Ang percentage nyan, kung pagsasama-samayin ko itong tatlo na ito, 2.6 plus 3.1 plus 5.3, that would give me 11%. Okay, paano ko yun nakuha? Basically, pinagsama-sama ko muna yung whole number. So, 2, 3, 5. That will give me 10. And then, pinagsama-sama ko yung decimal. 0 0.6, 0 0.1. Ito, 10 na agad yan. So, 1. So, yung 10, lalagyan ko ng isa pa. 11%. So, ibig sabihin nyo, 11% ang 330,000. So, ang tinatanong na lang, if, if ang... 11% ay 330,000. Ano yung kabuuan? What is 100%? Okay? Now, you can do it a couple of ways. Pwede mo sabihin na if 330,000 is 11% of what number, what is that number? Okay? So, pwede mo siyang gawing equation, which would look like this. X times 11% times 
is equal to 330,000. Pwede nyo isolve like that. You just need a little bit of algebra, no? Pero ako kasi, and I teach this then in my video, I also did, did a revamp on this, yung ratio rotation technique natin, pwede nyo siyang gamitin dito. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ganito lang, itatapat mo lang siya. Kung 11% yung 330,000, okay, ilan yung 100%. Okay, so again, ito yung percentage sa taas, ito yung number sa ilalim. Pwede mong gawin ganyan. Okay, natapat ko lang siya. Again, kung 11% is 330,000, ano ang 100%? Okay, tapos iikot ko siya ngayon. Now, if you notice, madali naman kasi iikot from here. Kasi 33 tsaka 11, madali lang eh. 33 divided by 11 is 3. Dadagdagin ko lang siya ng apat na zero. So, ganyan. Apat na zero, so 30,000 times 100. So, yung 30,000, dadagdagay ko pa uli ng dalawang zero. So, magiging 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, another 2 zeros right there. So, my answer would be 3 million views, letter D. Okay? So, again, ang ginamit ko, ratio rotation. But again, you can solve it like this. Para-paraan lang yan. Maraming nagtatanong sa akin ko paano to isolve. Ganito lang yung ginagawa ko sa exam. In most cases, I guesstimate. Kasi kung mabilis ka mag-estimate, makukuha mo rin yung sagot. Kasi hindi pwedeng 2, masyadong mababa. Hindi pwedeng 4, masyadong mataas. So, I would go for 3 million din. Now, I hope nakuha nyo yan. And uh, if natapos ko yung aking free worksheet, ilalagay ko siya sa ilalim, dito sa description box ng YouTube video. And uh, if hindi yun makita or hindi pa siya ready, I will announce that then kapag ready na siya sa ating Facebook page. So, follow me there na lang. I will also be posting more updates and more sample quizzes then on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me at follow me at Laika Maravilla for the quick quiz function natin on Instagram. I hope to see you there. Magandang way yun for you to check kung natututo kayo and for me din to gauge kung natututo rin kayo and which topics I should make videos of then sa susunod. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and don't mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe find out how to get the reviewers that I made or join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. There are more videos coming up sa series na ito and in other topics din. So hopefully, mapanood nyo yun in time bago nyo harapin yung susunod nyong exam. Hopefully, makatulong ito sa inyo. Thank you guys for watching. As we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.